Welcome to the instructional video on how to prepare and cut sheet metal using a guillotine and how to mark out and install pop rivets. As you can see we've just installed our compulsory PPE for the workshop environment. Preparing our cuts. For this job we need two 100 by 300 millimeter pieces of sheet metal. We have a 300 millimeter piece of sheet metal here which we are going to cut two 100 millimeter strips off. We start by marking the outside of the sheet 100 millimeters from the edge. As you can see we're using a fine line of pen and a folding rule to achieve the best accuracy we can. Once that is complete we use opposing snips to put, put a small nick on the edge of the sheet about five millimeters along which helps us locate where the cut will end up once the metal is installed into the guillotine. So once this is complete, we check the operation of the guillotine to make sure it's operating correctly. We place the piece of metal into the guillotine and slide it past the cuts we have made. Then pull it back so the cut rests against the face where the blade passes. Keeping pressure on the metal, depress the foot pedal and complete the cut. And as you can see, the result is two perfectly sized pieces of metal. Now we're marking out the rivet joint. The lap joint that we are going to use must be a minimum of 25 millimeters wide, as per SAHP39, the installation code for metal roofing and wall cladding. Therefore, we will come off the edge 12mm and mark our rivet spacing of a maximum of 40mm apart as per HP39 as well. We will mark out the 25mm lap on the bottom piece. Here is a view of our marks now. As you can see, they are highly accurate and nice and neat. Where our lap's going to end up. Now, we set up the metal together and we drill pilot holes on each end of the joint. Locate them with a loosely fitted rivet. And complete drilling our holes. Now remove the rivets and separate the sheets and remove all the swarf from the joint. This is very important because swarf does create corrosion. Now we put the joint together by installing the rivets. Place a rivet into the riveter and then into the joint. Compress the pliers together until the stem pops off the rivet, leaving the rivet installed into the metal. Here's a closer look. Finally, here is our completed joints. Our rivets are through and installed correctly. We have our 25mm lap as per HP39, which is shown on the rule there, but it is hard to see and a maximum rivet spacing of 40 millimeters per rivet as per HP 39 again. That's all guys, thanks for watching.